I would say that my villain origin story was I had first moved to LA Here we go. in 2014, was linking up with someone after my breakup with a guy I was with for four years. And TMZ put out an article and claimed that I got that I said I was pregnant by Colin Kaepernick, right? Wait, okay, so you were with a guy for four years. That we was break from, up. From high school. Um, from college. From college. Yeah. And you, you said 18? Um, 18 what? When you moved at 18. I moved, I moved to L.A. in 2014. Oh, 2014. 14, yes. Okay, and how so, old were you? I, I think maybe 21, 22. Okay, 21, um, 20. And you were dating Colin Kaepernick at the time? I wouldn't. Uh, hooking up? Whatever. Lincoln. Here we go. Here we go. The woman he is that the woman he is has already started. The woman he is has already started. She moved to L.A., went to college, had a had a boyfriend for she had a boyfriend for four years and cheated on him with Colin Kaepernick. I don't know why it it, it is beyond me why women just don't call it what it is. I slept with Colin Kaepernick. Like I, just just say it. I slept with Colin Kaepernick. What's wrong with that? I had a boyfriend. I was in a relationship. And I hooked up with Colin Kaepernick while I was in a relationship. If she's going to be accountable, if she's going to be accountable for her reputation, then why not be accountable for everything? And now she's saying she misrepresented herself. As if to say that her actions the last, I don't know, decade plus are not indicative of who she really is as a person. Ay, ay, ay. Johnny Green, member for 13 months. Uh, let me give you a Don DeMarco for that. Don DeMarco. Says, I keep confusing Brittany Renner with Brittany Griner. Yeah. Two very different, two very different people in very, very different situations. Same skin tone, though. Uh, Jay Blaze says, just say you want to fuck Tori. Yeah, Terrell. Yeah, listen, if, if you think Tori's attractive and you want to smash her, just say so. But... <laughs> To, to, to tell me that her interview with Michael Sertain was on a level Pearl can't go now, that is laughably ignorant. What on God's green earth are you talking about? Holy smokes. He said, Torsha spent two hours talking and debating evolutionary psychology, the why women do what they do. Okay. So what? That makes her on a on a level that 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 uh, that Pearl is not on now. No, Tori's a groupie. Tori, dude, Tori's a groupie. Nothing more, nothing less. She presents herself as a groupie. She wears a groupie's uniform. She is a groupie. I don't care. I I, I do not care at all. Secondhand truth. Welcome to chat privileges. At secondhand truth. At secondhand truth. To welcome him or her. To the TSR family. Second and truth, if you would put your age and location in the chat. Terrell Xavier says she isn't attractive at all. Stop the cap. Come on. Of course she's attractive. Listen, man. <laughs> Tori is a groupie. There is no question about it. But to deny that she's attractive, to me, that's disingenuous. Like, come on. Like, okay, you know, listen, Tori gets on my nerves, she irritates me, but that doesn't mean that I can't acknowledge that she that she is that she is attractive. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Lincoln. Let's just say Lincoln. Sneaky Lincoln. Jesus. At the time. Um, Sneaky Lincoln. There it is. Cheating. And with that, um, they had Photoshopped a picture. I had, like, posted him for, like, my Man Crush Monday. This is, like. Hang on a second. I'm sorry to have to do this, but let me go back. Let me let that all play all the way. So, Sneaky Lincoln is basically cheating, I think. So listen to how she tries to talk her way around escaping the fact that she cheated on her boyfriend with Colin Kaepernick. Dating Colin Kaepernick at the time? I wouldn't. Uh, hooking uh, up? Uh, whatever. Lincoln? Lincoln. 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 Let's just say Lincoln. Sneaky Lincoln? At the time. Um, <laughs> and. Unbelievable. With that, um, they. Yeah, Dre Raven says she also spent five minutes. Yeah, she also spent five minutes on her last screen with Don talking about tentacle porn. Yeah, dude, seriously. Come on. And dude, 75% of her talking points, dude, actually, 75% of her talking points come directly from Rolo. Come on, man. 
I had photoshopped a picture. I had like posted him for like my Man Crush Monday. This is like Instagram a long time ago when there was Woman Crush Wednesdays, Man Crush Monday. I remember those. You remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah so okay. um so I had posted him and I put like perfection and then I added him. And mm -hmm. again, why I posted on my Instagram? Great question. Um but someone had photoshopped the image media takeout. I don't know if you ever heard of them, but they oh, had yeah. posted it and then TMZ ran the story. Ooh. And I felt like from that moment on I was labeled a villain. Okay. And you have to understand, I was in a relationship for four years. Like, most people know the white guy that I used to date. Uh, we used to post together. He's the reason I got into fitness. Um, and I was already labeled a villain, a whore, mm -hmm. and was accused of something that I didn't do. And so um, what did you not do? So they, they were So I had put guys... perfection at his, his username, mm -hmm. and they Photoshopped it to say preggers at his username. Uh, so, so they, they were, were like, saying, oh, this girl saying, claims that she's... They were saying that you claim that you were... Yes. Okay. And I, I actually looked it up. I have a screenshot, too. I looked mm -hmm. it up last night to see if the article was still up, and it's still up. So at that moment in time, I realized that even though by per society standards, I was someone who, you know, low body count. No, I had not talked to any famous guy. I'd never mm -hmm. been around. I had a big... Stop the cap. <laughs> low body count? <laughs> Brittany Renner expects us to believe that she had a low body count before she became a villain. I would, I would subscribe to you that the less people know about you, the less celebrity you have, the easier it is to get and collect sausages. Here's another thing. She's trying to blame somebody else for her future behavior. She said, well, somebody photoshopped this and that. And listen, listen, whether what she's saying about what they said about her is true or not, her being pregnant or preggers or whatever, that's immaterial. That's immaterial. Whether that's true or not doesn't matter. What she is doing here is she is giving us an excuse. She just took accountability. She said, yep, I deserve the label. But now she's backtracking and saying, well, the reason I became a villain is because they made me a villain, so I may as well act like a villain. If Brittany Renner just kept it at that the tmz story let that dude let that run its cycle then you can go on running and living your life but no what did she do she said all right well if i'm gonna be a villain let me just be a villain and smash just about every dude in the industry that i can and then write a book about it no Brittany, no celebrity doesn't change people like money it reveals who you are you had promiscuous proclivities somebody put you whether it was whether it was whether they rightfully did it accurately did it or not somebody put your name alongside someone of celebrity you use you use that celebrity to go and smash other celebrities it would be different it would be different if this was the only incident that had happened with TMZ or whatever but the next decade all this girl did was hoe around this is who she was this is who she was before the TMZ article for her to for her to sit here and tell us you know what the label yeah it's legit but then tell us well the reason why I am or I played the villain is because TMZ did X Y and Z I may as well go ahead and do it no sweetie no that doesn't fly that doesn't fly you could have left that alone you could have let that story die down they would have moved on to the next one but what did you do you went and hopped from sausage to sausage to sausage wrote books about it, con PJ Tucker into putting a baby in you, and now you're going to say that the media made you a villain. No, sweetheart. No, you made yourself a villain. You made yourself a villain. No, the media is not fair with everybody. Okay, so TMZ got you. Or whoever. Somebody photoshopped something and, 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 and made you look like something that you claim that you weren't. Okay, I get that. One time is perfectly fine, but you continue to do it over and over again. And to blame the tabloids for your behavior is piss poor. Indicator with the $5 super chat says, even Fresh said he's never read the Rational Mail and still friends with Rollo. I don't think Fresh has ever read anything. I don't, he's, not a, he's not a reader. Fresh is an observer. Uh, Age of Machines says, two questions in and the lies and womanese already started proves three red pill truths in less than 30 seconds. Yeah, you got that right. Big following. An ideal situation, right? Starting out in... Uh, Terrell Xavier says, watch that interview and tell me she's a groupie. That girl has read a ton of books. I'm not going to... I'm not going to watch the interview. 
She's still a groupie, dude. She's still a groupie. That's my opinion of her. She is a groupie. She's Rolo's groupie. I'm glad you subscribe to her, and I'm glad that you don't think she's attractive. We're just going to have to agree to disagree, my friend. But I know more about her than you do. <laughs> I know more about her than you do. And if, and, and if we know anything about women, Pearl included, what they put on the screen is very, very carefully procured. In Hollywood, mm -hmm. already labeled a whore, a liar, a, oh. a gold digger. Oh. So I, when I think about how my origin story began, like my villain origin story, it was that. Mm -hmm. It's like, I haven't even done anything and I'm already mm -hmm. misunderstood. Mm -hmm. So I think as time progressed, I really just tried to fake it till I could make it. Mm -hmm. And inside, I never, like especially in high school, like growing up, I never felt like I was just top tier beautiful because I just wasn't, you know, I was growing into myself. I always had really bad skin, over fried my hair, always wearing extensions, never feeling pretty as even my natural self, like where I am now. Mm -hmm. um, Her natural self, even to where she is now. I'm just going to let that, <clears throat> I'm just going to let that sit. So how I started even like posting videos and having and being maybe like overly sexual mm -hmm. was because I was like, I want to feel like so, this bad bitch. So again, okay, I've only seen like clips of you. Okay. I've seen a couple car rants. Okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna give you seen okay. a couple car rants. I know you released a book. Yeah, in 2018. Yeah, and I know that Yeah, King Life says fake being a 304 to make it as a 304. Yeah, that's dude, that's that's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. It's, it, dude, it's just what I said before. She was all, dude, she was always a 304. She was always a hoe. Well, they labeled me a hoe, so I guess I may as well be one, and I faked it till I made it, so let me get this straight, Brittany. <laughs> you didn't really want to be a hoe, but you decided because they labeled you a hoe, you may as well be a hoe, but that's not something you really wanted to nor knew how to do. Look, sweetheart, I got news for you. I got news for you. Women don't have to fake being hoes. <laughs> Women don't even have to try to be hoes. All they have to do is decide to. What Brittany is trying to tell us is that my character, my inner character, is not really a hoe. But I faked it till I made it to play the character. Dude, nobody buys that. Street Fighter 88, welcome back to Chat Privileges. At Street Fighter 88 to welcome him back to the TSR family. Street Fighter 88, if you would, again, put your age and location in the chat. Put your age and location in the chat. Mike Hawk, $10, says she's a terrible person who moves through the world with pretty privilege, privilege and is now trying to be viewed the tragic villain. Uh, I know what the acronym is. I got to keep it clean for, got to keep it clean for YouTube. Uh, Charles Xavier says I was banned by Torsha because she said, because she said she was homeless and I said no woman no young woman is truly homeless. Exactly, Terrell. She said she was homeless. And you're right. No young woman is ever truly homeless. She also lived in Vegas for a time as well and swears up and down that she was just a bartender. But those details are fuzzy, too. If you go back and watch, when I pressed her on it, she glazed over that. Torsha, listen, Tori is no different than the average rank-and-file modern woman out here. And neither is Pearl. Pearl is not some unicorn. Pearl is not some exception to the rule. Pearl is, Pearl is a woman who acknowledges her nature, and she makes very good money doing as such. That's what she does. But, Terrell, that's exactly, that's exactly why you need to think, hmm, Okay, so she's read a few books and she talked about evolutionary uh, biology or psychology. So she's not dumb. Doesn't mean she's not a groupie.